Bro, sometimes I hate black people. However, I get it. So everything in the media is Diddy right now. Courtesy of the shade room, people come into his defense and I, it makes sense. And I'm gonna max out in your campaign. Matter of fact, I'm gonna generate a couple hundred thousands or a million dollars to put in your campaign. You were in the seat. You didn't call up the president. President didn't say, hey, look here, man. Nominate this mother right here. So now you got a, you got the stage. Good, that's what we call. I want you to drag his. I want you to have all kind of allegations. So by the time he come in this courtroom, he going to wish he ain't know we're going to take every dime you got. Because we made you. You didn't make us. God damn it. You with my stock. You my money. You me. I'm going to you. I'm going to break you up to the lowest term. That's how they go, boss. So when you people that put that bread in your pocket that made you, they're going to take, they're going to take you down to the lowest terms. So I like the movie Scarface. Bingo. And you're trying to sue this major corporation, this major respectable corporation, and they're going to say how many people they employ, how many people and half the people on the jury drink they I have the people on the jury, children walking around with their paraphernalia on. And you get ready, you get ready to sue them, and they'd have made you out and through the media, they'd have made you a crazy man, and they'd have made you a goddamn pedophile, they'd have made you everything that you're not. And you try I don't want anyone to confuse me for, I mean, last night before I went to sleep, I was praying. I found myself praying for Diddy's kids. I was thinking about Justin and Christian Combs and thinking about the twins who go to school with my daughter. Um, they, My daughter and his twins have been at pretty much every birthday party. And then I'm just thinking to myself, see, a lot of people will go after Diddy, beat him down for whatever he's either did or being accused of, uh, allegedly. Uh, and, and then it's all about him, right? And I was thinking about the family. I was thinking about the kids. I was thinking about the stress of yesterday I went home and all of a sudden I'm in handcuffs at the house. It's 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 just trying my best to see things through the lens of the kids. I don't want anyone. To and this one, my favorite one. Look at who is wishing this dude fail. You know what I'm saying? It's his own people. It's his own people cheering him, laughing, and then he did it, and coming up with new slogans for him. It's his own people, man. Like so, take note of this, man. You would think the mother. He thought a year or two ago when we were popping some rock. He thought that we would ride or die for him, man. Like he thought that the motherfucking the hip hop would stay down and over, you know, especially without him having a case. Now this is a good conversation. Cause for sure it's the black people coming for him. But it's the black people that I was hearing the rumors before. Then again, the homie told me as new facts present themselves, opinions change. Now that stuff about him suing the wrong people and them coming for him, it makes sense. Like, if we never heard rumors for people like 50 Cent, Cat Williams, and others saying Diddy liked to party. Like, to me, it's like, you know, all the movies in jail about jail. You go to jail, don't take nothing from nobody because now you owe them. So it's one thing if you was doing these things under the protection of these people and you go against them and they don't want to protect you, they want to go against you. Opposed to if these allegations just came out of nowhere. They hit up all these people that you had close relationships with and they all turned on you and made these stories up. And black people had no reason to believe any of it and they went after you. Damn, that'd be messed up. I personally don't know which one this is. What y'all think?